Hello, Generations Christian Church family, and happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, everybody. This is a very special Thanksgiving Day message, and I hope you just take some time out and uh, let me gather everyone around right now. This is quick. It's quick, but besides watching some football today, besides watching the parade today, and Christmas right? movies. Technically, you can watch right. Christmas movies on oh, Thanksgiving Day. We have something that is, I mean, truly, like this is a gift, and it needs to go in your arsenal of like weapons you're taking yes. into the holiday season that are gonna help you and bless you, your family, everyone around you. And I, I love this, the, the book of Colossians, there's in chapter three, it's talking about, hey, you're in the Lord. Like this is your time, you're in your the Lord. Self. You're putting yeah. on your new self, you're walking with the Lord. All of these things, and there's building. It's like, you, you're not this anymore, now you're this. Yes. And you're not this, and now you're this. And then you really should read, but I wanna focus in on a very specific verse. It says in verse 14, Above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Verse 15, here's your, here, this is your weapon, okay? You're, you're going to war, right, with some enemies over a holiday season. Here is a weapon, and Jennifer's gonna tell you what the weapon gets you. I wanna read this. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body, be thankful so the weapon i'm going to tell you what the weapon is the weapon is thankfulness it's thanksgiving it is. day it is thankfulness and i if you were a part of mom to mom hide my mom to mom girls and if you weren't you're welcome to join, join us in january join it. we studied the armor of god and honestly the, the piece that i took away this time was um that thankfulness activates peace thankfulness activates peace and we're, we're you know season of thanksgiving we're like let's be thankful i'm thankful for my Family. Maybe that's something you list. Maybe you go around the table and you list some things. There's actually power in that. I don't know if you know that. When you give glory to God for all of the things that you're thankful for, it is going to bring you a sense of peace. And it's so funny how we go from thankfulness and then right into Christmas, everybody's kind of talking about peace on earth. I want peace. And here's, this is just like a prelude into Christmas or for the rest of your life. And you have to do it in this season. If you're thankful every day, it is amazing what it does to your brain and to your soul and to your heart. All of those things are connected, your mind, soul, and heart. And when we do that in the name of Jesus, guess what? We will have peace. When we're thankful, we will have, list them. Go. Maybe you need to sit down right now and just list some things that you know God has done in your whole life. Maybe you're in a season that's dry right now, but you know God has been there all along. List the things that you're thankful for and watch peace just kind of naturally it's really amazing, and it is a tool. You know, it is a tool. It's a piece of the armor. Just as, because we we love you. Yeah. We, we know so many of uh, the stories of our family and you here at Generations, and I honestly, I'm, I'm thinking about this, and I know that kind of the knee-jerk reaction in this moment is, I'm I'm not thankful for a lot. There's some things I'm mad about in right? this season. Like, I'm gonna have an awkward Thanksgiving, or I'm gonna have like this, and I don't want that, and I'm mad or at this family member. Or maybe somebody's not at the table this year that was there last year, and you're, you're struggling the grief and the pain of this. So things. here's a key in all of this. Yeah. The thing with thankfulness is, it's not, oh, they're a thankful person. Like, no, 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 no. Like, it's work. It it's work. total on, you have to make a decision, but this is what's powerful. You get to decide. There are so many things about your situation in life that you did not decide. Well, they just happened to you. What, 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 one really huge piece though, the reason that we need to seek peace by thankfulness, that thankfulness activates peace is this. It's an example of showing the gospel to people with our lives. When we live grateful and thankful and then therefore have peace, guess what? In the armor of God, when you go to Ephesians 6, it actually says that's how you get ready to share the gospel. You're ready to show the peace of God, the P-E-A-C-E -E of God, because you are living a grateful, thankful life. It is a big deal to God to be thankful. He mentions it so many times in the letters. Um, to the Ephesians, the Philippians, and Colossians, and everything you do in word or do, deed, do it with thankfulness in your heart to God. It matters to God that you're grateful for what He has and done. And it's contagious. You it make is. if you make this decision, you're like, you just admit right now, I'm not thankful. I don't want to be thankful. Okay, but then decide. But I'm gonna be. But right. now you're equipped. So now you start saying, I'm today. I'm looking for things to be thankful. It, it's like when you're a hammer, everything's a nail. When you're a person decided upon thankfulness. There's so many opportunities and it will become contagious. And here's what you're gonna find out. The, the premise of God is be thankful. The promise that comes with that is peace in your life. We a all want a peace. A peace that surpasses 
all understanding. That means other people won't understand like, why it. Why is she so peaceful in chaos? Well, she's really grateful for the, even the little or the big things that God has done all the way through her life. And that's such or a mis- him. It's a mis- him and her. <laughs> misconception of yeah. the season where we say, and Jesus has come, so peace on earth. And we're like, where, where, where's the peace you're talking right. about? Christmas, Christmas and Thanksgiving does not always have, like, I don't think everybody's thinking, oh, it's so peaceful. I think it's chaos most right. of the time. <laughs> but, here, but here's the truth of the gospel. Because of Jesus, because you become, I mean, yes. Colossians 3 is like, you're this new thing now. You're looking for thankfulness. Mm-hmm. What's going to ensue, what's going to happen is, even though there's chaos and trouble in your life around you, you are going to have this aura and sense of peace deep within that other people don't understand. And your way there is a decision of thankfulness. So what we want to say to you on this Thanksgiving day is choose thankfulness. And what will then follow you and be around you, spill out of your life, will be peace. peace. And everyone around, because things around you won't be peaceful. You will. And people will say... I don't understand that. Thankfulness in a negative world. Can you imagine what that can do? It's light. Thankfulness in a negative season. Think, think about what that could do. So pick up thankfulness yeah. and may, may peace come. And uh, from the Scots to everyone at our Generations Christian Church family, we love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving.